Cold Party Book. Great cake for mayor. I thank everybody for being here tonight. When I first ran for Mayor Key West, I promised I'd work hard to make Key West safer, cleaner, and run more efficiently. And at the same time, not shy, shy away from the tough issues. This is exciting times for Key West. We're just coming off of three years of continual growth, improvement through the, the bad times of the recession, and Key West has kind of been not immune to it. We were hurt with the with the downturn on the, the properties, but we were able to come back with 36 uh, consecutive uh, months of increased uh, tourism. Pretty incredible. We have kept taxes lower. They're actually lower than the county. There's not many cities can say that their, their uh, property taxes are lower than the county property taxes. About at the same time improving our services. We've had three We've added three cleaning crews to keep Key West clean. We've negotiated a new two-year contract with our police department. We're able to no negotiate a new contract, new three-year contract with our fire department to be able to keep uh, the services to continue and the, the safety of the citizens, the same quality we've had. Key West is, was voted by trip uh, advisors one of the top ten destinations in the United States. Is that incredible? We know it's a lot of things that make that happen. It's our, it's our beautiful uh, natural resources, our rich history, our beautiful architecture, our fine restaurants, our great hotels, but most of all is the people that makes this place special. Well, everyone here I know knows how hard we work to get Glen Archer. Thank you for everybody standing behind me. We didn't give up there. There's a, quite a few uh, six to one votes against Glen Archer, but I never gave up, kept coming back, and we were able to turn that around. The school board was nice enough to give that back to the city that they knew. Our argument was Key West built it originally, turned it over to the school system uh, when there wasn't, before there was a school board, and they give it back to the citizens when they're done with it. They were nice enough to do that. We will be approving a contract Wednesday for one of the best architects in Key West, Bert Bender. <laughs> He's got a love of that building the same as the rest of us do, and he's going to do a fantastic job. Hopefully, we'll, within 24 months is our goal to have that done. Between 18 and 24 months, more realistic 24 months. That's what I'd like to do here today, that we cut that ribbon for that place. I took on a other top. Tough issues is a homeless issue. When I ran, I told everyone I would address that. That's a tough issue. It's not it's economic, it's social, it's mental illness, it, it's so many things why the homeless are out there. We've done all we could by legislative action. We're toughening up our ordinance, uh, no panhandling down in the tourist zone. We have uh, stricter camping ordinances, no sleeping in public, tighten up some of our open containers. We've done what we could. In, uh, with, with uh, laws, now we need the 24-hour homeless shelter so we can get the ones that want help, help, and we feed them there and, and at the same time give them the opportunity to make it connected with their family and go back to their home. And, and I'd just like to say one of the things I'm proud of is able to bring the community together, uh, whether you're Tonks in Newtown, fourth generation, three generation, just moved here last week or been here 20, 30 years. We're all here because we love Key West. We love the people in Key West. And it's like no other place in the world. So thank you for your support. Look forward to serving in another year with hopefully two more years. Thank you. I want to thank Caroline and Carmelo for hosting this event for us. Thank you very much.